Our next entrepreneur has used her own challenging skin condition to come up with a product she's hoping will improve the lives of sufferers worldwide. People do judge you on your appearance and I felt my skin really let me down. Um, and so I kind of just lost my confidence. I never started this off as a business. I started off to try and find a solution to my problem. Can she convince the dragons that there's money in her makeup? Hello, dragons. My name's Polly, and I'm looking for £37,500 for a 30% share of my business, Vitiliglo. Vitiliglo is a unique product that has the potential to transform people's lives. Vitiligo is a condition where white patches develop on the skin, as you can see of these pictures of me. Vitiligo affects 1% of the world's population. That's approximately 50 million people worldwide and around 640,000 people with this condition in the UK alone. Vitiligo makes people visibly different and many people living with the condition find it very distressing as it can take away their confidence, make them feel self-conscious and judged by others. I created Vitiligo in order to enable people who choose to cover their patches to have a product designed specially for the condition that can be applied quickly and safely on a daily basis. I've sold £16,000 worth of product in the first 12 months. However, this has been purely through its own website and with no marketing spend to date. I welcome any questions you may have. Thank you, Dragons. A heartfelt pitch from Northamptonshire-based Polly Gotchi, who's hoping for £37,500 for a 30% share of her specialist cosmetic range. Thank you. But does this makeup have staying power? Hi, Polly. Hello. Thank you. Do you have like a tiny bit on your hand or something uh, just to see? Is yeah, it possible I've to got see? One arm covered. You don't in have one. to do anything that you don't no, want to do. That's I just fine. want to see how it works a little bit. I probably if that's wouldn't okay. have done this about 10 years ago, but I've come to terms with it now. <laughs> So you put it, you don't just put it on a patch, you put no. it all over your arm? Yes. OK. Thank you for that. So um, the market in the UK, you say, is 640,000 people. Yeah. So you do this in different... Yeah, five, five different skin, skin shades. And when I look at your, your arm, mm -hmm. um, does that come off? Um, it's rub proof. I mean, obviously, even sort of fake tans can come off a little bit, um, but it, it's pretty. I mean, I apply it every morning before I go to work, and I have to give myself a good wash at night to get it off, yeah. And if I didn't use this, yep. what would I do on a Friday night if I wanted to cover up white patches? You'd have to use um, maybe a corrective cosmetic or foundation, and sometimes you have to use a combination of them to get the right result. OK, so um, how much do you sell one of these for? £25. And how long would that last, a, a typical person? Um, it usually lasts me about a month, four weeks. P Polly, can I ask, are you making any money? Um, yes, uh, I think so. <laughs> um, I turned over 16000 the gross profit was 13000 um, are you a wealthy person at the moment? No, <laughs> <laughs> no I use my savings. Oh, well, so, well yeah, I use my savings to fund half of it and then the bank matched me and gave me the other half. So you've got a bank loan? I've paid that back. You've paid it back? Yes. Oh, well, there you are, then. I've, I invested 16000 and believe it or not, in the 12 months, my own little target was to get back my investment and, and to pay my loan, and I've done that. Anything else now is a bonus, basically. OK, and what are your chances? Have you attempted to get your name trademarked? It is trademarked. It is I forgot trademarked. to put it on the bottle. <laughs> you forgot to put it on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> A chink in the armour of Polly's so far impressive pitch, as her failure to recognise that the devil's in the detail raises eyebrows in the den. 
Now, internet tycoon Nick Jenkins is curious to find out how this beauty business is building its brand. Polly, I, I'm Hello. Nick. Um, sometimes you have products that uh, wouldn't make any sense to stock in a shop because there aren't enough people within a geographical radius of that shop to justify stocking them. But there are people who are affected by it all over the world, and this is one of those cases. And they will be using the internet to find the latest thing for it because it affects them on a daily basis. Um, what are you doing to get yourself um, further Blogging. Up? I do a lot of blogging. I've kind of... My friend helped me do a website, put it up on the internet, and, you know, I, I don't just sell the product. I spend a lot of time answering emails and letters uh, and supporting people and giving advice and sharing stories. And, you know, people have found it from, yeah. like, you know, from I, all over the world. And I'm not surprised by that, because people who are deeply affected by a condition will spend a lot of their time oh, searching I, yeah. for things. <laughs> I know, uh, I, I've sp <laughs> spent half my life searching for a product that didn't exist. You could, because this is so niche, you have every opportunity of carrying on a business that you own 100%, that you thoroughly enjoy, you're engaging with your audience. You can, in this day and age, do that for yourself. So, uh, for that reason, I'm out and wish you absolutely all the Thank best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bad news for Polly, as she wins the goodwill of Nick Jenkins, but none of his cash. Will Peter Jones see potential for profit? It's a big challenge to take one product and take it in the market. I'm looking at this as an immediate business, Polly, and thinking, would it be something that I think in the next year I could see you and I making a lot of money out of this? I can't see that. I think it's great, but I don't think it could turn into a bigger business. And I'm going to say that I'm out. OK, thank but you. But I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Polly, what's your dream? Because there's a real social conscience in you, isn't there? there you know, is, so yeah. is there any tussle with you thinking, well, actually, I want it to be a business, but I want to do the right thing? Or it, have you it, found the balance? I do want balance? to do the right thing by people with the condition. If I could give a percentage back to some of the societies and charities to, to carry on researching into it, I feel... Um, you know, 1% of the world's population is quite a lot, yet it's very rarely spoken about. It's not just me who ended up, you know, feeling self-conscious, a lot of other people. Oh, I don't know, Polly. I think I, I you know, I really like you, and Thank I could you. be, I could be won over by you, <laughs> and I could also be won over with the fact that you're doing great stuff here, um, but. I think there there could be a conflict in your future with getting involved with me as a commercial partner. I'm afraid I won't be investing. Thank you ever so much. A glowing commendation for the social conscience behind Vitiliglo, but it ultimately goes against Deborah Meaden's business instincts. Her exit leaves the floor open to two remaining dragons. And Tuka Suleiman has been listening to proceedings with interest. It's very apparent that you haven't got a business at the moment. It's you <laughs> and you are all over the place. However, I like it. Thank you. I like it. I like you. I like your honesty. I like your openness. Um, what you need. You need somebody who's going to take this over, you know? And okay. on, on the business front, don't be surprised. What do you mean by that? Take over the website, take over the distribution, the dispatch, and you just be the person who, who's going to promote the product. I'm gonna make you an offer. I forgot I was here for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what could I offer you? I could offer you the distribution for my warehouse. I could offer you free offices. There'll be a web team that will look after the website. There'll be all that for free. 
but I want us to be equal partners. Right. I want us to be a 50-50 partner, and we'll make this into a brand that people want to buy. That's my vision for it. Thank so you. I'm offering you all the money for 50% and my organization behind it to make this happen. Tuka Suleiman is offering much, but wants half of Polly's company in return. Sarah Willingham's the only dragon yet to declare her interest. Is she in or is she out? Polly, I love everything you stand for. There is a market, as you have talked about and proven. I can't think of anybody better to sell to that market than you and to promote it. I think you're fantastic. And I would love to work with you. <laughs> I really, really like Thanks. you. Um, so I am going to make you an offer. I'm, Thank you. I want you to keep the majority of the business. I don't want to go 50-50 with you. Um, and that's very important to me. And the reason for that is that it's your business. It yeah. has to remain your baby. But I do think I'm going to have to work pretty hard, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I think I'm going to have to put quite a lot of time in. So I'm going to offer you £40,000 okay. for 40% of the business. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sarah Willingham's upped the ante by not only offering the entrepreneur more cash than she wants, but also by bidding for a lower equity stake than her rival Dragon. But it seems Tuka Suleiman, who wants 50% of Polly's business, has had a change of heart. Polly, as I was the first to <laughs> show my hand, um, now that, um, and maybe I was a bit too quick in making the offer, um, it is your business. I will reduce my stake. 40%. OK. Tenth time's in the den, with a deal-hungry Tuka Suleiman going head-to-head -head with investor rival Sarah Willingham. The entrepreneur now has to weigh up two very similar offers from two very different dragons. Do I have to make a decision now? Yes, you do. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm actually going to go with Sarah. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. A deal struck. Yeah, yeah, don't. And the first den investment for new dragon Sarah Willingham. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. I wish you all the best. Oh, thank you. Well done. I wish you the very best. Brilliant. Well done, Sarah. Well done. Great. Well, that's, that's a lovely a lady. Actually, I hope she goes... She's lovely. Yes. Do you know what? She doesn't need to sell many of them to make the money back. Yeah. Yeah. Tuka's offer was amazing, but I don't just want to be the front person. I want to be involved in it. I want to be hands-on with it. Sarah um, sort of understood that side of it, and I feel that she will champion it and not just worry about where I'm going to store the bottles. <laughs>